I got a new UI updated. So that day, it suddenly showed the Android logo and it's loading. Hi guys, today I'm doing a short video because my X50 has been updated with the latest Atlas UI. So I just wanted to share my own experience using Atlas UI. Uh, it's completely new UI um, and you don't need to do anything to update it. It will automatically load and download from I think at last server. So that day uh, it took about 20 to 30 minutes to just to update to download the whole entire package and then to install and then I can start using already. It took about I think 20 to 30 minutes to download and install. So now it looks like this in the home page. You can see the whole UI has been revamped. You can see aircon, the I think this is the, the cooler this one. So this one is aircon, you can press, you can adjust the aircon here. Like previously also got, but it doesn't look the same. Then the map here, vehicle status, the range, weather, this is the uh, music. It can link to radio, USB, Bluetooth. Then this is home. Then you can go to music, setting, weather, calls. So when you go to setting, it looks pretty much the same. Doesn't change much here. So it looks nicer definitely uh, compared to GKUI original when you get X50. And I'm not sure whether you can manually trigger the software update, but it just went on auto automatically update for me. And in this uh, short video, I would like to also show you a little bit of a walkthrough about Atlas UI in the settings, how it looks, and to add on a bit of other other question that I received about how do I set things like blind spot monitoring, lane keep that annoying dotty sound, can you disable it? And one of my friends also asked me, can I turn off the overspeed or not? Because the overspeed was set at 130, 140. Then I will show you in the in the video later, and then. Can you display the song that you're playing in your infotainment in your dashboard? Yes, can. I will show you also. Yeah, let's go straight into Atlas UI and also the other question. Uh, I hope that it will be more informative for you as well. So from here, vehicle audio, you can adjust all this, which is already there previously. Then you can change the speaker. Atlas is a male speaker. Okay, Atra. switch to Atlas. Atria is a female okay. speaker. So from here, you go to this one, you can see all the other ap application over here. So it's totally a different revamp UI by Atlas. And then you go to setting. I think there's something, this one looks the same, a bit of change. And then this one. Lah. So this is touch screen sound, whether when you touch, got tuck 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 or not. Then speed sensitive. I use a female sound, username. Mixing mode, I'm not sure what is it. If you guys know what is it, just let me know in the comment below. Then display. Display, you can adjust the screen brightness and also the instrument theme linked with driving mode. So if you are driving at a normal, usually it's yellow color. But you can also change. You can change to, let's say, uh, Okay, you need, need to disable, otherwise you can you, you cannot press one. So disable, disable already, right? If you select blue here, it will show blue here. So if you select red, right, it will change to red. If you select yellow, yellow is the normal mode. Lah. So red is the spot mode. Lah. So if you link to this driving mode, then that means if you change anything over here, right, spot or eco, you see, uh, I, I switch to Echo first. Then it will automatically change. But if you disable this one, disable already, right? It goes normal. If I change the spot mode, I, I already press, uh, I already press, uh, this one is already activated. It doesn't change color, but it will show you the spot mode, a small icon. So I think linking is better because it will automatically change my if I if I use spot mode, right? If I change to eco, it is blue color. If I disable, I want to use blue color 
all the time blue color because I like blue color can also it will turn into here and then same thing this will show eco then if you change to yellow color yellow color but you still maintain in eco mode it will show you eco mode but yellow color lah. so what else can I share to you guys I think it's pretty much the same yeah so this is then map view things a bit slow oh I see it isn't op oh it, it will open but it's really quite slow when you go into the okay so the map looks like this uh. it's not the Google map but it's good enough just that a bit of lag then go back to home so that's all the new atlas ui ah just to add on that day one of my friend asked me how do i sh display the music display of this in here so you just need to click this one go to the setting then you click this right then you go to right this one the music then you will see this one so when you play your music right you can see what song who is the singer that you are playing right now by Jejo. oh then the rest remain the same lah because they didn't update on this one this one is i i did a video on on this before that day another friend asked me can i turn off the overspeed uh alarm yes can overspeed alarm you can set until 240 one then this is this is like a radio button right but if you want to enable or disable it's the same button you need to add this navigation part you press when you press right it will it will light up long light up then you enable long. but of course depending on what's uh the overspeed you go to enable you press then enable already right then you can set up by default i think it sets around 120 so it, it can set from 30 all the way to 240 but i just turn it off lah, so that when you drive it won't ting 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 to remind you that you are over speed and you can disable then then just return lah. the rest i think is about the same another my, some people say annoying lah, is the lane lane keep you can adjust uh, whether lane keep is you want to be like enable with warning only or you want to enable with uh, auxiliary when you enable this right then you can see it's already enabled that means it will try to keep you in the lane uh, but you disable then this one I mentioned before feedback warning audio only that means when you cross the line right it will dung 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 tactile it will try to auto correct with, with your steering so you, you will feel some feedback in your steering as well then anything else you want to know about this and some people will notice uh, in this setting although i'm in a vehicle i cannot see blind spot information system it's not here it's over here so when you go to the infotainment you go to vehicle you go to safety so if you want to turn on your blind spot information system this one so it will tell you like, whether there's a car it will use the camera over here to tell you whether it's car so if you turn on the warning you will hear the sound if you turn on this one bliss you can see this triangle will light up in term in the orange color in the amber color then this one is the lock and unlock like if you turn this when you lock it will sound the horn but i think it's a bit annoying so i just put this one so that's all for this system system wise usually i don't check because it is already updated Alright, I think that's all for this video. If you like this video and you learn something, uh, give give me a thumbs up. 
if your friend would like to know about Atlas UI and also the settings, right, feel free to share the video to them. And thank you so much, and I will see you in the next video. Let me know if you want to know anything specific about X50. I'm not a professional car reviewer, but as a owner's point of view, because I drive definitely more than any professional car reviewers on X50. So whether it's infotainment, the setting on the dashboard, the power boot, the anything else lah you want to ask. I, I try to find out the answer if I don't have and share more with you as a owner's experience. Uh, that's all for today and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.